Hey everyone, Miss here from Team of East Rocket League team. I'm here to share some pro tips for striking and how I approach my shots in professional matches. Okay, the first tip we're going to cover is figuring out where to shoot the ball. So in this replay, I have Team NB Earth Energy Wasteland Game 5 in a grand final. And I see Atomic just solo playing down the field and I see him go for a bump. I also see Justin pre-jumping high. So with that information with high, I automatically just assume play low. And I see him bumping Garrett, so then I just try to place it anywhere on the ground under Justin. So basically I'm just trying to put under Justin as my main focus. And I'm putting full faith in Atomic to get that bump, so once he gets that bump it's basically a free goal. So the main thing was just getting under Justin and I was pretty confident it was going to go in. My next tip here is to show that yeah, you're able to control the ball to create scoring chances by yourself. So uh, there's another replay here with the energy in the upper bracket final. Game 3 here, I just see that Justin's taking a slow approach to the ball and I automatically decide to just cut it off and cut my teammate off Atomic so I know I'm able to get, uh, get it by him. And I see Squishy and Yair are not that close to him so I just immediately just go to cut it off and pop it over Justin and recover well enough to follow it up and just shoot it on the open net and tie it up. So that's a good opportunity I just created just because I was offensive and I saw Justin and wanted to take a slow approach and I just assumed that he wasn't going to go for it so I just cut right in front of it so I was able to score. My last tip is to space out from your teammates to create passing plays. Here is the replay with energy of course and we're down 3-4 with 11 seconds left so we gotta think something clutch so Atomic calls a fake kickoff forces Garrett to pass it to me and then automatically I just pass it right back to Atomic to where he gets a mid boost and he has a lot of space on offense and Turbo's in the midfield so he gets it by Justin and passes right to Turbo on the open shot and switch he's just left flat foot in the net and can't react so that's a good example of just spacing out and creating opportunities for your team. Thanks for watching hopefully this helped you out in your next Rock League match let us know in the comments what you think and like and subscribe if you haven't.